and they're off in the Judd Mott Spinster. There goes Played Hard right out for the early lead. Played Hard immediately to the front, gets over to the rail. Here comes Latruska, though. Latruska is going to move up on her outside as they head into the first turn. Princess of Cairo, center of the track, goes in third. Malathat is in fourth as they swing around that first turn. And further back, Army Wife, who now settles out to the back of the pack in the fifth position. In the meantime, Played Hard is the leader. Played Hard is on top only by a neck. Latruska is second by three quarters of a length. And here's Princess of Cairo joining them third up on the far outside. Malathat is in fourth. Army Wife, last of the five, 24.41 seconds. The time for that opening quarter. Latruska now puts ahead in front. Princess of Cairo to her outside, and Played Hard is there to her inside. Top three separated by a neck, midpoint of the back stretch, stalked every step of the way by Malathat, who's in fourth by two, and Army Wife is last. It was 47.9 seconds. The time for that first half mile. Latruska the leader. Latruska leading Princess of Cairo by a half length to the far turn. Played Hard is now third a half length. Here's Malathat now, fourth up on the outside, just over two lengths from the lead, and then Army Wife is right behind her. On to the far turn, Latruska is the leader. Latruska on top, leads it by a length and a half. Here comes Malathat. Malathat starts gearing up on the outside, just over a quarter mile to go in the Judmont Spinster. Army Wife to third, played hard as in fourth, Princess of Cairo last, top of the stretch. Malathat coming after Latruska. Army Wife tries to join them from the far outside. Malathat, the leader. Malathat takes the lead, has it by two. Two coming to the eighth pole. Army Wife second. Latruska drops back in third. Played hard is fourth. Malathat, final furlong of the Judmont Spinster, has the advantage out to nearly five lengths, 16th to go. Army Wife is second. No catching. Malathat winning the Judmont Spinster for John Velasquez. It was Army Wife home second. Played hard was third. Latruska was fourth. Princess of Cairo across the line in fifth. The official winner of Keeneland's featured ninth race, 67th running of the Judd Mott Spinster Grade 1, number 1, Malathat, owned by Shadwell Stable of Gregory Clark, trained by Todd Pletcher. Two wins today for jockey John Velasquez. Malathat, a four-year-old filly by Curlin, out of Dreaming of Julia by APND Bread in Kentucky by Stone Street Thoroughbred Holdings, LLC. Keeneland Million Dollar September Baby wins the Judd Mott Spinster in a time of 1 minute 51.05 seconds for the nine furlongs over the fast main track. Results official. Now the trophy presentation for the Judmont Spinster, a win and you're in Breeders' Cup Distaff Division race. Presenting the trophy on behalf of Judmont Farms are Garrett O'Rourke and Dr. John Chandler. They present to the connections of Malathat. Malathat strutting her stuff en route to the Breeders' Cup Distaff and the Grade 1 Judmont Spinster. Todd Pletcher, her conditioner, and Johnny Velasquez join me here on the turf course at Keeneland. Did you have a sense that the pace wasn't maybe as quick as you thought it was going to be as they were traveling down the backstretch? I mean, at the first quarter of a mile, I was like, I know it's slow, though, you know. So then when the other horse got, got to more on the outside of uh, Los Rascas, it's like, okay, at least he's going to pull a little bit of pace. And he kind of held his position and going to the backstretch. But, but the half on my pull, I already had to make my decision where I stay behind that horse or, or go around him and make sure I put a little bit of pressure in the, by the three pole. And I was telling Todd, I was like, I got there a little bit too soon. I was a little hesitant, you know, to get to the lead a little too soon. But by the quarter pull, I saw Tyler, he was still tapping on the horse, tapping on the horse. I said, you know what, I'm going to pass him and hopefully I discourage him and I'll do that. And, and she kept running today. And normally when she gets to the lead, she really slowed down. And she did, but at the same time, she kind of stayed focused running a little bit. Right by the wire, she put a one of hers. Yeah, I don't know what she was going. <laughs> she also left me at the wire. Uh, but no, she was much of the best today. Well done, Johnny. Uh, thanks to Todd and the whole team for a great job. Yeah, Todd, this filly has been so brilliant over the course of her career. How, what's it like to keep her in this kind of form, this high-level kind, kind of form that you have over the course of these seasons? Well, what's great when you when you have one for the, their third year in training with you, you, you get to know them pretty well and you kind of know what they like and. You know, you could tell this year she, she was a bigger, stronger version of last year's uh, self and, and needed a little more training. And, uh, you know, that's why last year we, we opted to go from the Alabama to the Breeders' Cup. We felt like, you know, with an older, more mature filly that's carrying more condition that a prep race in between was appropriate. What were you thinking as the pace was developing or for the matter of fact, not really not developing like we thought it was over the course of this race? Well, I was I was concerned there wasn't going to be a whole lot of pace on. My, my biggest concern was that Latruska might get loose on the lead. And when she wasn't, there was at least some entertainment there. I thought that helped, and it looked like Johnny was always very comfortable. 
How nice is it to have the Breeders' Cup here at Caneland? Well, she seems to love the track here. You know, she's three for three now, so that's always encouraging uh, to know that one handles the surface well. Well done. Great to have you here. Thank you. Todd Pletcher, Malathat, perfect today in the Grade 1 Judd Mott Spinster.